plantation at Holwell. I'm on the footpath, there's a footpath going through it. And there's a plantation here and it's planted for nature. It's not planted for wood or um, fruit, it's not an orchard. And this tree here is an old, older, A-L-D-E-R, and it's um, older, has this shiny stem, and then these, um, these are left from last year, these little cony bits, different from elder with an E, elderberry, this is older. Um, what else have we got here? Another elder. This here, ooh, looks like a, a beech tree to me, and there's an oak, a good old oak tree, the English oak tree, um, oh, a nice little variety, and uh, Lady Smock, I know the name of the white flower now, that's Lady Smock. And notice over in this other patch, there's some spindleberry bushes, which have those lovely little puce pink berries in the autumn. And uh, very mystical, the old spindle. That's a, that's a spindleberry. Initially I thought it was a buckthorn, but I don't think it is a buckthorn, I think it's a spindleberry. Because buckthorn is what uh, the brimstone, the yellow butterflies, caterpillars, breed on, feed on. Um, there's some bugle, bugle down there, bugler, bugle, flower. Oh, and this is uh, ragged robin. This isn't campion. This ragged robin, see how ragged that flower is? And it's got quite a different leaf to a campion. It's got that small leaf. So, uh, nice little area someone's planted up. Mm. They've got solar panels over there. One's on the ground. Looks about the same amount as what I've got, probably about. Four, four kilowatts, I'd say that was. So two arrays. There's some, more, there's some more trees around here. I'd say that was a field maple. Oh no, it's not, it's an older. Uh, but there's some cherry, there's a cherry tree there. Cherry tree. Um, these, oh, hazel. Just posing for me. Now that doesn't normally happen for me. Wildlife, well not wildlife, but animals. Just getting in the right place at the right time. Thank you, horsey. And there's another shrub that's planted, privet. Privet is very good for the uh, flowers, the bees, and then you get the privet hawk moth. Oh look, just notice that. Great big pheasant feeder. Um, I think. I'm not sure what that is. No, I might be wrong. It might be, oh, I don't know what it is. It might be some sort of valve for an underwater tank. I don't know. And then come around here a bit. And there's a, a bigger oak tree. It's got that guard around it. That takes a bit of um, uh, work, doesn't it? Making guards like that for trees. Now there's a novelty. Concrete box made in the shape of Lego bricks. Um, they're huge. Aren't they ugly? Ghastly. Mm -hmm.